We've discovered many things in the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump. Today we learn that the correct pronunciation is Philadelphia. Philadelphia. If Donald Trump really is a billionaire, then how come he got his lawyers from a strip mall? I was out getting a spray tan and this guy had a little kiosk and he said he did law and I'm like, I need a lawyer, this is perfect. The legal team is Bruce Castor, David Scon, and Michael Vanderveen. So here's Michael Vanderveen's courtroom freak out. None of these depositions should None. be done by Zoom. We didn't do this hearing by Zoom. These depositions should be done in person, in my office, in Philadelphia. That's where they should be done. They're all laughing at him. <laughs> They're howling at him. I don't know how many civil lawyers are here, but that's the way it works, folks. I don't know why you're laughing. It is civil process. That is the way lawyers do it. We I send don't know why you're deposition. laughing. In because you call it Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's why they're we laughing. Because you're ridiculous. In the only thing that would be better is if you were a cat on Zoom. Chamber. Michael Vanderveen is a personal injury lawyer. Yeah. And his big case is representing a man who claims to have been served a fried rat in Kentucky Fried Chicken. I, I can't even say it with a straight face. It's so ridiculous. Um, here it is. Colonel served up rat in KFC wings, customer says. Tearing into a bucket of chicken at KFC last year, a West Philade Philadelphia, I thought it was Philadelphia, man claims in court that one of the wings he'd been into contained a fried rat. Represented by local attorney Michael Vanderveen. Plaintiff partially consumed a chicken wing which contained a fried rat. So Michael Vanderveen goes from representing someone that says they ate a rat to representing an actual rat, Donald Trump. Vanderveen says Trump is an ally of peaceful protesters. That's about as ridiculous as saying Putin is an ally of Pussy Riot. David Scon, he was actually set to represent Epstein. And then that just shows you the level of guilt he deals with. And then Bruce Castor, Bruce Castor, he previously worked as a prosecutor and he's best known for his decision to not prosecute Bill Cosby. Mm -mm -mm. Not prosecute him. Look at this guy. It's like he walked into Kmart and said, give me a suit that's the wrong size. Give me one, as long as it doesn't fit. Makes me think of this. <laughs> Bruce Castor's opening statement was, my name is Bruce Castor. I am the lead prosecutor, lead counsel for the 45th president of the United States. Lead prosecutor. He doesn't even know which side he's on. Trump has bad lawyers because he surrounds himself with bad people because nobody wants to deal with him and he has terrible judgment. And Bruce Castor's big defense is that he claims the rioters who stormed the Capitol didn't attend Trump's speech that day. Given the timeline of the events, the criminals at the Capitol weren't there at the ellipse to even hear the president's words, Castor said. They were more than a mile away engaged in their pre-planned assault in this very building. Weren't even there to hear? Sure, some of them were already at the Capitol because they wanted a head start. They were insurrection tailgating. They were having a party while listening to Trump on their phones and their iPads. It's called technology, Bruce. And the thing is, we've all seen the video footage of everyone walking over and there's people in those videos that were at the speech. So, come on. Campbell, C-A-N-P-B-E-L-L, -L. you are an idiot. MAGA tears. Good pillow, they will fail. MAGA tears. You are annoying. MAGA tears. All you liberal socialists need to return to your mommy's basements. MAGA tears. Here's a recent picture of a Philadelphia cheesesteak I made. I use a meat slicer to get it razor thin. Uh, people did complain to me on Twitter because I did not use provolone, but it's a pandemic. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can find out about all my latest content. I'm a stand-up comedian. I've been one for over 20 years. I've played in 35 countries, and I've got three albums on Spotify. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. If you're out, wear a mask. Be kind to each other. Have an awesome day.